we have assembled to right a grievous wrong done to Buck Rogers of the planet Earth. Prince Talon has told us why he believes that we, the people of Saturn, should ally ourselves with the people of Hidden City rather than the outlaws of Killer Cain. How do you feel about the matter? Hand me the treaty. Prince Talon, you have earned the right to present this treaty to your friend. Ask him. of the planet Saturn to support you in your war against Killer Kane's outlaw armies. Thank you, Teller. And now, sir, with your permission, I'll call the scientist general on Earth. Tell him the news. You mean you can actually talk to the Earth from the planet Saturn? Yes, sir. That's why I had the radio brought here from the ship. Just calling the scientist general on Earth. Dr. Hewer's laboratory. This is the air control office. Colonel Rogers calling Dr. Hewer from Saturn. Dr. Hewer is in the air marshal's office. Thank you. I'll call him there. Marshal Craig speaking. Colonel Rogers from Saturn calling the scientist general. Rogers calling you, Doctor. This is Dr. Hewer Buck. I'm happy to inform you, sir, that Saturnian Treaty has been signed. Splendid, Buck, splendid. And Wilma, how is she? We're both fine, Doctor. We had some trouble with Killer Kane's men. I'll report that later. When are you returning? In a day or two, sir. There are a few minor details to attend to. Well, let me know when you start. I will, sir. Goodbye. We must find some splendid reward for that boy, Craig. It's not within the power of man to reward that boy for what he's done. What can be keeping Patton and Roberts? Can't make a move till they get back. Looks like them now. What happened to you? You run into any Saturnian patrols? No. Do you know that Robert we left for dead up in the rocks? What about him? Well, he's only stunned. He's as much alive as we are. Well, why didn't you bring him? We didn't dare try. A lot of those Zubs found him. They acted as though he was some sort of a god, the way they kept kneeling and bowing before him. So? This may be just the break we need. Let me have a look at that. Stay here, Roberts. Come with me, Pat. I think this will work out perfectly. I don't get the idea. If they think he's a god, they'll obey him. And I can tell them what orders to give them. It sounds risky to me. Of course it is. It's worth trying, isn't it? All right. Who are you? Martin, tell the Zugs to capture the guards. Make these men prisoners. Tell the 
tell them we're their friends. These men are your friends. Tell them to gather all their men. We're going to free them from the rule of the Saturnians. Gather all Zugs. Follow these men to war on all Saturnians. Revolt. Now that all details of our treaty with the friends of Buck Rogers are completed, the meeting is adjourned. I've just received word. The Zugs have risen in revolt. They are marching on the Forum. Marching on this Forum? Who is leading them? The Earthman, who tried to kill Prince Telen. That must be Laska, sir. If we don't stop him, he'll demand Saturn as vassal state to his leader, Killer Cain. time for that, sir. I suggest Buck Rogers be put in charge of our defense while we... It's a little too late for that, Prince Talon. Explain the meaning of this intrusion, Captain Lasker. Explain the purpose of our call. My friends, the Zugs have come to take over the rule of Saturn. From whom will you now take your orders? From our leader, Cain, of the Earth. And now, with your permission, I shall contact the leader, Cain, and have him send a spaceship squadron to keep order here. If he does that, we're sunk. I'll have to stop him. Careful, Buck. He won't hesitate to kill. Captain Lasker calling the leader Kane on Earth. Captain Lasker calling the leader Kane on Earth. Yes, Lasker, this is the leader. What have you to report? 